1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Ali Ahmad. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has urged the world community to consider writing off loans of developing countries like Pakistan to help them cope with the coronavirus. Foreign Minister says the leadership of Pakistan and China are committed to materialize the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor projects. The Assistant on Social Protection says the federal government is extending all-out cooperation to provinces to cope with coronavirus pandemic. And Pakistan Cricket Board has postponed semi-final matches and finals of Pakistan Super League 5th edition. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has urged the world community to consider writing off loans of developing countries like Pakistan to help them cope with the coronavirus. In an exclusive interview with the Associated Press, he feared the coronavirus will devastate the economies of developing nations. The Prime Minister said if a serious outbreak happens in Pakistan, his government's efforts to lift the ailing economy out of near collapse will begin an unstoppable slide backward. He said exports would fall off, unemployment would soar, and an onerous national debt would become an impossible burden. Referring to the net health infrastructure constraints of different countries and regions, Imran Khan said, we just do not have the capability and the resources to deal with the virus. Meeting of the federal cabinet with Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair is underway in Islamabad. Overall political and economic situation of the country, with particular reference to the steps taken to check the spread of the coronavirus, is being discussed during the meeting. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says the leadership of Pakistan and China are committed to materialize the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor projects. Talking to media in Beijing today, he said our development is linked to CPEC and this mega project will benefit the entire region. He said China's support to Pakistan's stance on the situation in occupied Kashmir signifies how deep the two countries' relations are. The foreign minister said China has dealt with coronavirus in the best possible way and now the country has to overcome the challenge. Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting Firdaus Hashikavan has said that religious scholars can play the role of vanguard to combat the international phenomena of coronavirus. In a series of tweets today, she said responsibility has been entrusted to the Ministry of Religious Affairs to engage their religious scholars and ensure their central role in this important national cause. Firdaus Hashikavan hails their role being played by the media in creating awareness amongst their people about their prevention of the virus. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Social Protection, Dr. Sanya Nishta, says the federal government is extending its all-out cooperation to all the four provinces to cope with the coronavirus pandemic. Speaking in a special program of Radio Pakistan in Islamabad today, she said coronavirus is a new virus and its incubation period is 14 days. Dr. Sanya Nishta said if anyone suspects symptoms, including fever, coughing or shortness of breath, he or she must call the official helpline number 1166. China reported just one new domestic coronavirus infection case in Wuhan today. The single case will boost Beijing's view that it has basically curbed the spread of a disease. However, the country is now concerned about an influx of cases from abroad, with an average of 20,000 people flying into China every day. World Health Organization has called on all countries to wrap up their testing programs as the best way to slow down the advance of the coronavirus pandemic. At a news conference in Geneva, WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus also urged companies to boost production of vital equipment to overcome acute shortages. More than 175,000 have so far been confirmed in 145 countries with more than 7,000 deaths. Washington-based human rights lawyer, activist, and writer Arjun Sethi has said the Indian government 
and Hindu American Foundation have launched an unprecedented lobbying campaign to hide Modi's atrocities in India and occupied Kashmir. In a tweet, he said they have used fake news, intimidation and backdoor meetings to deter the U.S. Congress from criticizing India. And finally, the Pakistan Cricket Board has postponed semi-final matches and final match of Pakistan Super League 5th of edition. In a tweet, board said the matches will be rescheduled and details in this regard will be shared later. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopakistan news official.